Hi, it's Simon from We First, and what a week. I think we've all been watching the VW emissions scandal play out in the media. And for me, what it's thrown into relief is that every brand faces a fundamental choice. They are either going to do good authentically or disingenuously. And if you do it authentically, leadership sets this wonderful example. You've got employees who feel good about working there and they want to become advocates for the brand. You've got consumers that want to buy your product and feel good about the difference that they're making. And then ultimately you're having a positive impact in the marketplace which improves your reputation. If alternatively you do it disingenuously under the guise of doing good, those very same dynamics, that compounding effect works against you in the sense that your reputation in the marketplace that you built by investing millions if not billions of dollars over decades is destroyed. And then working backwards, consumer trust and loyalty and goodwill is lost. And then working backwards, you've got a dealer network who's suddenly saddled with all this product, these cars that they struggle to sell. And then working backwards again, you reach your employees, your human capital, your institutional knowledge, which is so valuable to the brand. That gets lost as people leave because they don't know what the company stands for or whether they can trust it. And then ultimately, as leadership, your very position is under threat. And so what this really shows me is that there is no opportunity for brands to game the system because this isn't a game. And what it's costing us is far more valuable than money. And ultimately, the only person you're going to end up cheating is yourself. Instead, what a brand needs to do is to authentically commit to making a difference. And it needs to be able to define, frame and share a brand story that's going to inspire others to work with you to make that difference. And ultimately, a brand must be able to define a cultural conversation that will inspire all stakeholders inside and outside the company to build a better world together. And so I think if this lesson has taught us anything, it's that the most valuable asset a brand has is not its products or its shiny buildings but it's its people, it's human capital inside and outside the company. And the currency that those people trade is trust. And if you forget that, you'll be forgotten just as quickly.